Hi, this is Gary Poe from Lights at Table, and this is Painting 101, lesson number one. What to get. Now, just to start off, I am by no means a professional painter. I would consider myself an amateur at best. But I did learn how to paint from a bunch of people that actually knew what they were doing because I used to host game nights in which we would also paint as well. And from doing this, I learned a good amount about painting. So as a disclaimer, these are tips for people just to get their feet off the ground, basically to get their dip their toes into the water, I guess the best way to put it. And if you want to learn some advanced tricks, I'll also be posting out some YouTube links in the description down below if you want to check out other people's videos if you want to go to the next level after this. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be showing you guys three different groups of things. This is going to be first that basically a I'm not sure if I even want to get into this sort of category. Then there's going to be an I'm interested, but I'm not going to be doing this all the time category. And then the last category is basically a I already know that I'm going to be painting everything in my house sort of category. Now some basic supplies you're going to need for every single one of these steps is first you're going to need some newspaper, which is basically going to be used just to cover up the area where you're going to be painting at to keep it clean. You're going to need a cup, preferably plastic or a throwaway so you can use for water. Toothpick so you can fix little mistakes and adjust little details. And the last thing you're going to need is you're going to need some dish soap. And this is basically used to remove the grease and grime from your miniatures before you start painting. Essentially it's a cheap primer kind of, but we'll go into the details. Okay, so first off with you, I'm not sure if I even want to do this, guys. This setup is absolutely giving you the bare minimum. I would suggest this setup personally for people that only want to paint a handful of miniatures at the most, and also for people that are not even sure if painting miniatures is for them. So basically, you're going to need basically this paintbrush and paint set. I'm going to have a link of it in the description below. Just a heads up, this is acrylic paint, so it's a cheap paint, and also it comes with three brushes as well so it's perfect and the last thing I'm going to need is you're going to either need a piece of cardboard you can either get it from the box that you just ordered from for this paint set or you're going to need a little paper plate and you're going to basically use this as your painting tray in which you're going to paint all of your colors on and mix all of your colors on but that's basically it just basically using stuff around your house and buying that one little paint set you just got everything you needed under 10 bucks and now also for this set while you got your requirements, I would also suggest getting one, uh, one single vial of wash. And the reason why I would suggest getting a wash is because it basically turns a very bland little miniature that you finish painting into a really highly detailed one. And by far, for the amount of time that you spend actually applying a wash, it's actually probably one of the most crucial things and it only takes you two seconds to add a wash to a miniature. And to start, you really can't go wrong with the Vallejo washes. The only reason why I would suggest that over the Army Painter is because Vallejo washes and when they come in single individual vials are a lot easier to get on Amazon. Uh, the pros with this set is it heads dirt cheap. I mean, you can't really beat spending only 10 bucks and 16 bucks at the most if you get the wash along with it. And a lot of the supplies you actually already have. Now, obviously, with it being a cheap set, it comes with a few comments. Cheap paint naturally means that you're going to need more coats and when you have to apply more coats that takes up more time and also when you add more coats it takes away some of the details on your miniature and also note without a primer without more expensive paint the paint isn't going to last as long as it would compared to other miniatures but it's not to say that they won't last I painted this probably close to a year ago at this point and it's still holding up pretty well and also the last con is if you skip on getting a wash they'll come out pretty bland to be honest now on to the second group the I'm interested but I might not do it all the time group okay so the point with this group is that we're going to get you a bunch of solid supplies and what makes it even better is that they'll last you a long time so then you can just keep coming back every once in a while and paint if you want to. I suggest this kit for people that don't want to spend a ton of money but they know that they're going to be doing this several times. Also this is a great set for people that are going to be hosting paint nights because this will give you a ton of supplies. And the last thing is that this is also great for people that are, need to paint a bunch of typical models. Let's say for example if you have Star Wars Rebellion and you need to paint all of their stormtroopers. This also helps in those situations as well. So in this set, you're going to need this 18-piece paint set. It's a lot more paint than the last one. It's roughly about six more colors, if I'm not mistaken. And it's roughly about, I think it's 
three to four times as many paint for each one as well. You're also going to need this 15 piece brush set. It basically will have every single kind of brush you need and if you have other people over they can use your brushes as well. And instead of using a piece of cardboard or a paper plate, you're going to use this paint tray as well. And just as a heads up in the description down below, if you need like a bundle of them, there's going to be an option for that too. And the last thing you're going to get is you're going to get the Army Painter wash set. This will basically get you every single wash that you need under the sun and this is basically all you really need when it comes to washes. So why not Vallejo this time around when it comes to washes? It's pretty simple. I mean, this gets you the best bang for your buck at this price point. If I'm not mistaken, Vallejo was another 15 bucks more. And to be honest, between the difference between the two, there's not much that you can really complain about for beginners. And the last thing I'll suggest at this level, it's not required, but I would suggest it would be a primer spray. And doing this will accomplish a couple things. I'll go into more details later on, but it'll help your paint essentially stay on your miniatures. So there's a lot more pros in this one than the last one. First off, you'll get a ton of supplies for under 55 bucks. Now you will have not only enough paint for yourself to last you a long time, but you also have paint for others as well. And as long as you're patient, your paint jobs will still come out great because you have the washes and you still have paint as well. But it doesn't come without its cons. Just like the last one, if you're using cheap paint, you're going to need more coats. And more coats means more time and less detail. And without using more expensive paints and primers, just like the other one, your paint jobs aren't going to last as long. Now on to the last group, the I already know I'm going to paint everything in my house group. This next step is basically what I'll consider after the amateur setup. In fact, I personally actually don't even see myself ever getting to this level. This setup is for people that have already painted before and they know they love it. Also for those people that have never painted before but they know they'll love it. This is also for those people that would rather spend more money to save them more time in the long run. And it's also for those that really want their paint job to last. They want to do this once and they want to never have to touch it again. And the last group of people is that these are also for people that basically want to get a taste of what the pros are using. So with this setup, you're going to use some of the same things. You're going to still use the paint tray. You're going to use the war paints wash. And you're also going to still use that 15 piece brush set. The only people that really complain about having cheap brushes are people that paint all the time. So it's one of those things you can invest in later on. So basically for this one, you're essentially focusing on the setup and the paint itself. So first off, you could get a primer spray. Now, I've been saying this in the other ones as well, but basically what a primer spray does is you take it outside, you attach all your miniatures to like a sheet of cardboard, you step a few feet away from it, and you basically spray paint them down with this primer spray. Now, what's great about this primer spray is that it basically puts a coating on your miniatures so that then it'll basically have the paint stick to it a lot better. And only that, it's really great if you want to get a good coat of a color that you know you're going to use a lot of. For example, if you have a bunch of stormtroopers you need to paint, you need to get a base coat of white, just spray paint them down with a white primer. There you go, you already have your white layer down for it. And the last thing you're going to need is this Army Painter Starter Set. Now what's so great about it is that it has great paint in all of the colors that you're going to need to start out with. No need to figure out how to make a flesh color or how to make a gunmetal color how to make a perfect leather looking color. It's already right in the box. And because in this set you're going to be using primer and miniature paint, instead of using the two to three coats that a normal acrylic paint will need to get on your miniatures and stay and look good, this will take one, maybe two layers at tops. So what are the pros about this set? It's of course gonna have a ton of them. First off, the paint jobs will of course last a long time and be in full detail for that entire time. Uh, and because of the quality of the paint and the primer that you're using, it's going to take you literally half the time to paint because you don't have to do so many coats. And obviously because you're using less coats, more details will show up in your miniatures as well. And just those colors are so useful to have without even having to think about how to make a flesh color or a leather color or what have you. It's just so convenient to have that already set up for you. Now the cons of course is that this is the most expensive kit. It's gonna cost you roughly around 65 bucks and you're getting the least amount of paint out of it. And just so you can have an example of some miniatures that are actually painted this way, minus actually the primer, there's no primer used in this. This is purely just war paint. I'll show you some examples. So hopefully that'll get you on the right foot to actually getting into painting your miniatures. And just remember that everything that I've shown you before, I've provided links down below, but just bear in mind that you might actually be able to find them cheaper at your local hobby store, paint store as well. And also, 
Besides even looking online at YouTube for tips and tricks and everything like that, you'd be surprised at how much help you get at your local game store. So if you're not an amateur and you're actually a pro at this, what are some great tips you could provide for newbies? Be sure to leave those in the comments below for them to check out. Including myself, I guess. Yeah. And like always, be sure to like and subscribe the video. And this is Gary Pope from Late to the Table. Peace. Catch you guys next time.